like hard to see who hate and persecute these people, man. It start with the white man at the top, man. But the other nations fall right in, 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 in land with them, man. Go ahead, huh? Verse 8. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord. This is, you, this is what our people have to do. You got to return and obey the voice of the Lord, man. That's right. Go ahead. And do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. And the only way we're going to do that is when he give us that uh, new body, man. But right now, turn back and keep we keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, man. And through the grace of who the world called Jesus Christ, he, he, he there for us when we when we when we fail in our patience, man. When we ain't seeing it willfully, man. You know, uh, go ahead, uh, go back, yeah, go back to um, uh, go back to Lamentation. upon our enemies, man. Uh, and that's talking about the other nations. So you don't supposed to be praying for no other nations, man. You're supposed to be praying for their downfall, man. You're supposed to be praying for the nation of your people, man. That the Lord take his anger away from us and have mercy upon us again, man. Go ahead, huh? Uh, Verse Right now, man, giving out loans 
waiting on them to fight for their laws, taking over their ports, taking over their land, man. Go ahead, huh? Certainly. This is the day that we look for. See, this is the day they look for, man. This ain't no thing that, that was just ha happened um, coincidentally, man. This was a plan, man, that they came up with going back in the Psalms, the 83rd chapter, man. Go ahead, huh? We have found, we have seen it. The Lord have done that which he had devised. See, the Lord have done that which he devised, man. Go ahead. He have fulfilled his word that he have commanded in the days of old. Right. He See, have... these words go back to the days of old, man. The Lord made that covenant with us. Yeah, he was three and one right here, y'all. When the Lord made that covenant with us, man, he wasn't playing, man. It was, it was serious, man. That's like Jake, like I said, it's written in blood. It was written in blood, man. And you see what happened. The Lord didn't require blood, man. That's why you see so many of our people dead in the streets, man. The white man gunning them down, these other nations doing that. We, we ain't obey the voice of the Lord, man. Right, like the brother said, gunning our own self down, man. Book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. And 2. Hear this word that the Most High has spoken against you. See, hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. And who is that you? Go ahead. Oh, children. Of Israel. Oh, children of Israel, you, you Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. This the word the Lord spoke against us, man. Go ahead. Against the whole family. Against the whole family, man. So ain't nobody get away, man. Go ahead. Which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Which he brought up out of the land of Egypt, man. Saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. See, we only have he known, man. And if you look that word known up in the Hebrew, man, it, it, it's, you got about you got about 30 or, 30 or 40 synonyms, man. Go ahead, huh? If that word known goes to you only, do he recognize? You only do have he taught? You only do he have he understand? You only are his kin for his, his kinsmen? Go ahead, huh? Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Keep going. Uh-uh, keep going. Okay. So that's why we're in the condition we're in, man. Going back into that blood covenant, that contract the Lord uh, made with us, man. It was written in blood, man. So we broke the contract, the Lord shed our blood, man. Go ahead. Can two walk together? Except they be agreed. See, can two walk together except they be agreed? So we broke the covenant. The Lord wasn't walking with us no more, man. Two ain't walking together, man. Go ahead. With a loud roar in the forest, when he have no prey. Right, man. Go ahead. With a young lion cry out of his den, if he have taken nothing. Right. Can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth? Where no gin is for him. Just going back into that covenant, man. So when the Lord made that covenant, like he said, will a lion roar when there is no prey? No. So the Lord ain't do all this for nothing, man. We made the covenant, and, and, and we accepted the covenant, and we ain't hold to the covenant. So going back into it, said, therefore, the Lord punished us for every iniquity, man. So now we're here to show our people their iniquity, and, and we know only the elect is going to turn back, man, and be saved, man. But we're here to discover the Nicolai people so the captivity can be turned back, man. Go ahead, huh? Shall one take up a snare from the earth and have taken nothing at all? Right. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Right, man. Because that's what you used to do in the ancient times, man. That's what we done, man. Even to this day, modern times, Different, if a different storm or something coming, you know, they got the um they got the sirens that go off, man. That was the modern day trumpets, man. Those trumpets don't go off. 
Read that again. Just for nothing, man. Go ahead. Read that part again. Can it with a trumpet be blown in the city? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And the people not be afraid? Right. And that's what's wrong with a lot of our people, man. Because you know that brothers be calling you out through the spirit, man. And you get afraid because we part of that trumpet, man. We're lifting up our voice like a trumpet and showing our people their transgressions, man. It's supposed to make you afraid, man. It's supposed to make you afraid to want to get right, man. Uh, go ahead. But can, will a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Go ahead. Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? Right, man. See, so when there's evil come in the city, the Lord done it, man. They said that's the devil. But he controlled the devil, that's man. That's right. That's right. That's right. Let's look at verse 7 or verse 6. So surely the Lord, the Heavenly Father, man, He ain't gonna do nothing, man. Go ahead. But He revealed His secret unto His servants, the prophets. But He revealed His secrets unto His servants, the prophets. Get that word nothing in the Hebrew. So I say, surely the Lord would do nothing, man. But he reveals his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, man. Man, how do you know if the man sent from the Lord, Isaiah 8 and 20, man, to the law and to the testimony? If he speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in him, man. He say, say. Right, the Hebrew word right there is Dava. Go ahead. Uh, strong, not Dava, Dawa. Dava. 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 It's Dawa though, cause ain't no uh, ain't no V's in the ancient in the uh, in the ancient Hebrew. Man. When there's a V right there, it'll tell you that even in the old English there was there wasn't no V. The sound is Wa right there. It's Wa, so it's Dawa. Go ahead. Right. Uh, definition of speak. Word saying. So the word, so like it said, surely the Lord will do nothing. So surely the Lord will will basically be not gonna speak or, or, or say or utter anything, man. Right. Why? Because he reveals his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, man. Right. You know, so that's that's how you obey the voice of the Lord, man. He always had his men set up to come out and, and, and warn the people, man. Go ahead. Advice. Right. So the Lord ain't going to advise you nothing, man. He got his men, he got his prophets already set up to do that, man. Go ahead. Command. Command, right. Counsel. Come. Decree. Right, because he got his word here. And then he revealed his secrets and took it the men who he had revealed them to. And they going to give you the understanding of it, man. Go ahead. Spoken, talk. Right. Come. Surely the Lord thy power will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophet. The lion have roared, who will not fear? Right. The Lord thy power has spoken. Who can but prophesy? Right, man. Because why? We not speaking our own words, man. We coming straight out of the book, man. We coming straight out of the Bible, man. Something your pastor don't do, man. He'll read one scripture, break it down wrong, ain't gonna put no precept with it, and try to and have you and just hey, like you say, he seen false burdens and visions for you that's keeping you in your captivity, man. Go ahead, I'll go back to home. Um, Get that, get that right there, bro. You taking pictures? Get that, get that sign. You, you get the whole sign on there.
Fees, you, 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 you. Explain that to me. Huh? This, this, this is on, uh, like you said at the top, this is the tri 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, man. According the, to the Bible. According to the Bible. This is the name the Lord gave us in the book of Genesis. On the, in the book of Genesis, this is the name that the so-called white man gave us so that we wouldn't know who we are, man. Because each one of these names has a negative on, turns on like Negro, man. The word Negro means death, man. So we call ourselves a Negro, uh, African-American, man. That, you know, like the, like the Bible was saying, life and death in the power of the tongue. All the words we speak, their spirits come from that, man. So we teaching our people, man, which we the Israelites according to the Bible, which the word Israel means um, prince of God, man. So we the prince and the princesses of God, man. So, right, which is Yahshua Allah in the ancient Hebrew, man. You know, um, just um, basically just to sum it all up, too. These are the only people that the Lord died for, man. The Lord ain't died for all nations on the face of the earth, man. So when the Lord come back, man, these are the people who he coming to save, man. And it's only going to be elected these people get saved right now, man. Because you're going to have two-thirds of our people that don't want to turn back from their wicked ways, man. They want to keep continuously on treating their brothers and their sisters wrong, man. They don't want to love their brother or their sister like they love they self. They want, they want to commit adultery with the next man and woman. You know, they want to continue to be homosexuals and lesbians, which our enemies taught us this, man. This is how we ended up in the condition we in now, man. This is how we ended up on the slave ships, man. That's how the so-called white man ended up coming over here and put smallpox in, in, um, in the villages of the Native American Indians, the so-called um, Mexicans, man. You know, because we turned from his law, statutes, and commandments, man. So we basically set up out here, man, to restore... To let our people know how they got in this condition and what's going to bring them out of it, man. You know, which the pastor's supposed to be doing that, but they not, man. You want to say something out? Uh, get Isaiah 58 and 1. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Cry out loud, spare not, this was that voice like a trumpet. Right, man. So, you, you want to say something, bro? Yeah, I want to see if I can put that in my mood. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. you yeah. can? Yeah. yeah I, got a, I got a release. Oh. Pay, pay, paperwork, just a couple things. I put it in my movie. It's a movie that's going about Jackson. Put it in, bro. Put it in, man. Make sure you put that in there, bro. You can get some more footage if you want to. I have your permission to put it in? Yeah. What's okay. the name of the movie, bro? On the Run. On the Run? Yeah. On the Run. When the response come out? Uh, when we get done, <laughs> but uh, it's gonna be a good move. Okay. I like positive energy that we, you know, put in there. Right. Positive message. You got a message to the black man? To the black man? Yeah. Right, man. For you so called, for the so called black man, man. Get Revelation on uh, one and thirteen real quick, man. And this, and see, this something that, man. This, this one of the first things we supposed to learn, man. When we come out, when we able to learn and understand, man. Because you so called black man, man. You know. They not going to tell us this, man, but the, the real black history, this our history book right here, man. And we gonna, and whom the world know is Jesus Christ, man, we going to go into the Bible and see how he looked, man. Because he'll be called a so-called black man today, man. And if they taught our people that, we'll, have, we'll, we'll look at each other in a different way, and we'll, we'll start to act a certain way, man. You know? Uh, go ahead. All right. Just the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 13. And in the midst of seven candles, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. Right, so he was clothed with a garment down to the foot, man. Like what we wearing today, man. These, this is some of our ancient wear. Um, this is some of our ancient clothing that we wore during the ancient time, man. It's known as a garment, man. So this, 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 this basically giving a description of how and whom the world knows is on uh, Jesus. Look, man. Go ahead. And girded about the pelts with a golden girdle. So he had a golden girdle like a golden belt in gold around his garment, man. And we say on um, whom the world called Jesus, his true name is Yahweh Shai, man. You know, in the ancient Hebrew, his true name is Yahweh Shai, man. Because you can look up the letter J, and it didn't come into existence until like the 16th or 17th century, man. So his name wasn't Jesus, man. But we'll say Jesus just so our people can understand, man in the English language, but when you go back to the ancient language, his true name is Yahweh Shai, man. Um, go ahead, bro. His hair and his hair is like 
Like so it say his hair and his head was white like wool, man. So hair. right, so he had gray hair, gray woolly hair, man. Right. You see an old man today of our nation, they and they get in they gray, they start to look white, man. White is gray, man. So the Lord had woolly hair. And we know the so-called black man is the is the nation of people on earth that had that woolly hair, man. So when you see that image of um let him finish, we're gonna give his skin color. It's gonna give his skin color. <laughs> As white as snow, right, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Go ahead, and his feet like unto fine brass. So it says his feet was like unto fine brass, man. And what color is brass? It's 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 a, it's derivative of brown, man. Go ahead. As it as as if they burnt in a furnace. So as if they burnt in a furnace, man. So the Lord was a dark skinned man with woolly hair, man. That's right. You know, according to the Bible. According to the Bible, man. And when he come back, man, to save the nation of Israel, he gonna have, he gonna look the same, man. You know? Um, go ahead, bro. And his voice as the sound of, of many rivers, waters like. And his voice is as the sound of many waters, man. He had a deep voice, man. Get on. Um, now we're gonna go get the um description of how the uh, Heavenly Father look, man. No, uh, get get there your nine and seven, right? Well, now get get Jeremiah fourteen and two, right, man? So this is supposed to be taught to to the to the so-called black man, man. You know, which we a whole nation, man. The so-called black man just is the head tribe of the nation of Israel, man. Which they come from the tribe of Judah, man. We the real Jews according to the Bible, man. That's right. You know, uh, go ahead, up. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Judah morning. See, it say Judah morning, man. Okay, bro. Appreciate that, bro. Yeah, make sure you put that. What is going to come on? It's going to be locally, bro. It's going to be a local move. Uh, it's going to be on YouTube. On YouTube? Yeah, okay. On the run. On the run, okay. Right, man. But, hey, that's a, that's a good title, man. Because our people been on the run, man, yeah. ever since we was taken down, man. That's what we reading about, man. We been on the run, man. But it's going to get to the point where we ain't going to be on the run no more, man. All your other nations going to be on the run, man. Uh, go ahead, up. Judah morning. And the case that uh, language. Right. Judah morning. We in morning, man. Look at, look, at, look at the Negro, man. Look at where we live at, man. Look at us as a whole, man. We in a we in a condition of mourning, man. In our gates language, man. The leadership language, man. Go ahead. They are black unto the ground. We are black unto the ground, man. The Hebrew word right there is kodar, which means dark skin, man. Go ahead. And the city, it's like, it. and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. And our cry have gone up, man. So that's what that's why that's why the Lord is gonna come save us, man. When the Lord say going back into um. The book of Exodus, but the Lord told Moses, I heard the cry of my people, man. And now they're gonna deliver us, man. Go ahead, get it on. Um, just get it on. Um, in Hebrews 7 and 14, just for edification's sake. Then we're gonna go back. So this is the message for you so-called Negroes, man. You the, the, the hey, the, 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 the Lord and Savior, man, of our people, man. We're gonna come back, man. Which everybody know about him, man. That's it. Huh? Go, what you say, huh? Hmm. Okay, go ahead. I right, just the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. But it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. See, it's evident, man, that our, that, that, that our Lord sprang out of Judah, man. Which is, he'll be called a so called Negro today, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Of, of which tribe Moses spent nothing concerning priesthood. Right, because the priestly tribe was you so-called Haitians, man. Y'all was the priestly tribe of our nation, man. You know, they sit on it up. But going back into it, just showing, it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, man. And we just read Judah is dark skin, just further proving that the heavenly father, well, that, that the heavenly son, the heavenly only begotten son, our Lord and Savior, was dark skinned too, man. Just like we are, man. Go ahead.
But we've been on the run for a long time, man. And it's almost over with, baby. We've been on the run, man. Just the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Cry out loud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Right. And show my people their transgression. So that's what we going to do. Show our people their transgression, discover their iniquities, so our captivity can be turned back, man. Go ahead. And the house of Jacob, their sins. Right. And this is what we're showing this to our people, man. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, man. Go ahead. Yeah. They seek. Yeah. They seek me daily and delight to know my ways. Right. As a nation that did not righteousness and forsook not the ordinance of their God. And this the mind frame my people got, man. Y'all act, act like we ain't forsook the ordinance of the Most High, man. Go ahead. But we are, like you said, that's why we out here to show our people their iniquity so that they can call it the man, man, and turn back, man. Go ahead. They ask of me the orders of justice. They take delight in approaching to, the, to God. Right, man. Go ahead. Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Right. Wherefore have we afflict our souls, and thou takest no knowledge? Come. Behold, in the day of your fast ye you find pleasure. Right. And exact all labors. Right, man. And, and our people spiritually do this, man. You ain't serving the Lord in spirit and in truth, man. You honor him with your lips, but your heart far from him, man. Go ahead. God. Behold, ye fast for stripes and debates. Come. And you smite with the fist of wickedness, ye shall not fast as ye do this day. Right. Ye make your voice to be heard on high. Go ahead. Is it such a fast that I have chosen? Right. Is this such a fast that the Lord has chosen? Go ahead. He's going he gonna to tell you what his fast is. A day for a man to afflict his soul, it is to bow down his head as a bull rush. And to spread sackcloth and ashes upon him. Will thou call this a fast? Come. And an acceptable day to the Lord? That's why the Lord said he should, he, may, he should make us forget our solemn assemblies, our solemn assemblies and feast days, man. And he done that, our Sabbaths and our solemn feast days, man. Go ahead. Verse 6, Isaiah 58 6. Is not this the fast? That I have chosen Come. to loose the bands of wickedness. This the fast the Lord chosen, man. You can fast all you want to, man, but you still commit your wickedness. The Lord don't care nothing about that, man. This real fasting right here, man. Loose the bands of wickedness, man. Go ahead. To undo the heavy burdens. To undo the heavy burdens, man. Because when you look at it, man, when you celebrate these holidays, man, those are heavy burdens, man. China, China, on um, do all that Christmas shopping and, and, and preparing all that stuff, man. Those heavy burdens, man. A lot of times people don't have the money, man. Those heavy burdens, man. And let and you and at the same time you committing paganism, man. You worshiping another god when you do it, man. Go free, man. This is a real fact. This is the this this is the fast the Lord is talking about, man. Go ahead. Right? And, which I which don't get it wrong. I ain't saying nothing wrong with fast, man. But our people, you had these churches, they'll do a Daniel fast. They'll, but they'll have faggots, homo lesbians, homosexuals doing the will. They ain't loosening no band of the wicked, man. They ain't discovering your nickel. They ain't lifting up their voice like a trumpet to show our people their transgressions, man. And show them where they going outfit, man. 
So ain't nothing wrong with fast when you do a fast, man. A sincere fast. I'm right. I'm preaching the soul because some of them don't even do a whole day fast. Come. They have fast like the 5 o'clock. I fast a no lunch fast. Right. But you'll have a faggot fasting, man. Go do some homosexual acts the next day, man. The Lord is not seeing that, man. This real fasting, right? You're loosening the band of wickedness, man. Yeah. Go ahead. And that you break every yoke. Break every yoke, man. Go ahead. It is not to deal, that's like, it is not to deal thy bread to the hunger, and that thy bring the poor that I cast out to the house. Right, man. Looking out for your people, man. The best way you can, man. Go ahead. Which this, this, this is that, this, this, and we out here feeding them with the word, man. And if we can help them in, in, in the materials we can, you can, we do it, man. If we can, man. You can go back up. You finish that verse out, though, if you ain't finished. I finish that. When thou seest the naked, and thou cover him. Right. And, and, and. And what is that talking about, man? It goes all the way, goes right back to, to, to seeing when that thy sees the naked and I cover him, discover his iniquity, man. That's what the nakedness is talking about right here, man. Going back into Revelation 16. Blessed is he who keeping his garment, that he walk not um walk naked and they see his shame, man. Because a lot of people don't even understand where they going off at, man. They think celebrating Christmas, Easter, all that's right, man. They think they supposed to love everybody, man. According to the church, the pastors tell them, man. They think that's right, man. So we, we like you said, um, we're going to cry a lot and spare night, man. We see our brother walking naked, we're going to tell him, man. Go ahead. Our brother or our sister, man. You know, of our nation, man. Because a lot of these young, our young women and young men, they don't know, man. A lot of them raised with our fathers, man. Ones that do have fathers, mothers out, they don't know nothing. Right. And that thou hide not thyself from thy own flesh. Right. Don't hide. Don't, hey, don't act like you better than your own people, man. God. Don't hide yourself from your own flesh, man. We out here trying to, re hey, through the, through the spirit of your high by shit, man, I was shy, man. You know, we, like you said, we discovering that iniquity of our people so that the captivity can be turned back, man. You some more to that out? Okay. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning. There it go, man. Then the light going to break forth as the morning, man. Go ahead. And thy health shall spring forth speedily. God, then when that's when the Lord going to take that dark cloud from over us, man. Going back to the scripture we started with, man. Read it from the top again. Uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 58. Verse 8. Because what a light help you do? It help you see, man. That's right. Then you'll start to be able to see clearly, man. You'll start to be able to understand clearly in their spiritual eyes, man. Your spiritual in your spiritual um your spiritual discernment, man. The word is the light of the, of the past. Come. It's rough and powerful. Alright. Light unto my feet and a lamp unto my path. Like you know, probably be out of order. Go ahead out. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning. Come. And thy health shall spring forth speedily. Right. And, and this the, talking about our body as a, as a whole being healed, man, the nation, man. Go God. ahead. And thy righteousness shall go before thee. Come. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. The glory of the Lord going to be our reward, man. God. Go ahead. Go back to uh, it's more. That's it. That's it. Acting limitations. Because we discovering our iniquity, man. We 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 we, we discovering the iniquity of, of our people, man. We loving loving all loving the white man, showing him mercy. What have he got us? Nothing, man. He still don't love us. He's still showing us that, man. So that ain't working, man. If something ain't working, you have to try something else, man. You got to try what's working, man. Can't keep going down the same path, man. And it ain't working, man. Uh, back in the book of Lamentations, chapter 2, verse 17. The Lord have done 
that which he have devised. So everything the Lord said he was going to do to us, he done it, man. Go ahead. He have fulfilled his word that he have command in the days of old. He have thrown down. He have not pitied. Right. He have caused thy enemy to rejoice over thee. Right, man. So our enemies rejoicing over us, man. Go ahead. He have set up the horns of thy adversaries. Right, so he set up the powers of our adversaries, man. That's why all nations just just rule, just just over us right now, man. Go ahead. The heart cried unto the Lord, O wall of the daughter of Zion. Come. Go let, ahead. let tears like let tears run down like a river day and night. Come. Give thyself no rest. Let not the apple of thy eyes cease. Arise, cry out in the night. In the beginning of the watch, pour out thy heart like a water before the face of the Lord. Come. Lift up thy hands towards him for the life of the young children. Right, man. Go ahead. But we have to do that in spirit and in truth, man. We don't, it, 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 the condition of our people, man, we don't go to the white man crying for justice and equality. We go back to the, to the to our Heavenly Father, man, to our power, who going to bring this so-called white man down, man. Go ahead. That faint for hunger in the tops of every street. Right, man. Go ahead. Behold, O oh Lord, and consider to whom thou hast done this. Right, man. So, this is we out here. To, this is we set up to do, man. We set up. We 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 begging and crying to the Lord, have mercy upon us, Lord. Restore your people, you know. Remember the promise you made, man. Go ahead. Shall the woman eat their fruit, and the children of a span long? Shall the priest and the prophet be slain in the sanctuary of the Lord? Huh. The young and the old lie. On the ground in the streets. Right, man. The young and the old lie down on the grounds of the streets, man. Man, even around here, man, just looking at it from a physical standpoint, man. You got young homeless people and old people out here, man. It's serious, man. But this is all the, the Lord things the Lord devised against us, man. And the only way to come out of it is come back to him, man. Spirit and truth. Come. My virgins and my young men. I fallen by the sword. Come, on, man. Go ahead. Thou hast slain them in the day of thy anger. Thou hast killed and not pitied. Thou, thou hast killed and not pitied, man. You hear that, man? The Lord done this, man. Right. So everything that happened to everything that's still happening to us, he using the so-called white man to do it. But the Lord done this, man. And it's telling you why, man. Because our people refuse to hearken unto his voice, man. And two thirds of our people gonna continuously refuse, and this is why you see, you see them different videos. Our people get shot down in the streets. You see the police handling the young, uh, so-called young black woman, Hispanic woman, any kind of way, man, punching them and all this, man. It hurt to see that, man. Right, man. It hurt to see that, man. But we understand what's going on, man. Go ahead, God. Thou has called as in a Solomon day. My terrors round about me. Come. So that in the day of the Lord's anger, none escape. Right, man. So ain't none escape, man. Go ahead. Nor remain it. Come. Those that I have sw swaddled and brought up have my enemy consumed. Come, man. So all the other nations consumed us, man. Um, let's go to go to um. Old Lamentations 5. Start from the top. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 5, verse 1. Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Right, man, you know. So consider, read it from the top of here now. Remember, O oh Lord, what has come upon us. Come. Consider and behold our reproach. Come. 
our inheritance is turned to strangers. So our inheritance is turned into strangers, man. Our house to aliens. Right, man. So the so-called white man control. I, 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 he he want to be. He, 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 he controlling the lands that the Lord gave us, man. He, he faking like he our people, man. You know, he faking like he the people, man. He faking like he these people, man. So our inheritance is turned to strangers, man. Even though the nations trying to act like they from the nation of Israel, man. Go ahead, up. We are orphanage and fatherless. Right, man. So it's like our nation's like orphanage and fatherless, man. The majority of our nation come up without their fathers, man. The majority of them locked up, dead, or, or, or just, like, hey, just, just, hey, up under this curse the Lord put upon us, man. On drugs. You know, whatever situation it is, man. Or just, it, it lost in a man frame that don't care, man. Uh, our mothers are as widows. There you go. See, our mothers is as widows, man. Ain't no fathers in the home, man. And this system has been designed by the so-called white man, man. But the Lord used the white man to punish us, man. Yeah. We have drunk our water for money. Right, man. We drunk in our water for money, man. And then the water we drinking now, man, is polluted, man. And we have to pay for it, man. Right. But all this is our, like I said, our inheritance given to strangers. The world was made for our sakes, man. We the princes of the power, man. Our big brother, Yahweh Shai, he created the world, man. So all this belong to us, for we suppose all this is ours, man. But it's sold unto us, man. So our inheritance given to strangers right now, man. Go ahead. Our wood is sold unto us. Come. Our necks are under persecution. Our necks are under persecution. Go ahead. We labor and have no rest. We, hey, we labor and have no rest, man. You really don't get enough when you, hey, you, you, we really don't get enough rest, man. Because you constantly, hey. Bills got to be paid, man. But then we we still we it's like we don't get no rest, man. Go ahead. We have given the hand to the Egyptians. We, we have given the hand who the modern day Egyptians, the so-called white man, man. You know we giving the hand to him. We working for them, man. They the one prospering off everything we do, man. Off the labor we do. Go ahead. And to the Assyrians. Right, add to the Assyrians, go ahead. To be satisfied with bread. Come. So they the ones really eating, man. Go ahead. Our fathers have sinned and are not. Come. And we have bore their iniquities. Right, man. Our fathers have sinned and are not. We have bore their iniquities, man. Go ahead. Servants have ruled over us. Servants ruling over us right now, man. There is none. That do it, deliver us out of their hands. And ain't nobody delivered us, man. We know the history from 1619 until now, man. It's over 400 years, man. It's been over 400 years and nobody delivered us, man. But going back to uh, what Moses wrote in Deuteronomy 28, no man should redeem thee, man. Because why? You have a shot. The Lord and Savior is going to redeem us, man. No man gonna get this glory right here, man. Go ahead, I. We get our bread with the perils of our life because of the sword of, of the wilderness. We got our bread with the perils of our life, man. So Jake do all type of things that are costing me life right now just to eat, man. That's what that's going into reading again. We got our bread by the perils of our life. What's peril or danger, man? You see Jake out here, Jake might be robbing, whatever he doing, what he say he doing the fuck, man. I got to eat, man. So we got our bread by the perils of our lives, man. Go ahead, read that again. We got our bread with the perils of our lives. Come. Because of the sword of the wilderness. Come. Our skin was black like an oven. Right. Because of the terrible thing. Come. They ravished. The women in Zion. They ravaged the women in Zion, man. So this is nothing. This, hey, we know they done that, man. You watch them old slave movies, man. But all, the Babylonians done it too, man. The ancient Babylonians, man. So-called Africans done that, man. 
But the modern day Babylon is the so called white man done it too, man. Ain't no other nation so called Arabs, man. Over here, though. Princess, I hang up by the head. The feet of the elders with my body. Hey, don't they show you that? They, hey, we don't got no signs. We don't got no signs, but you, you, can, you, they show you on them slave moves how they were hanging us, man. This is a hang up by their head, man. What do you say by their hands? Hands, hands, hands. Hand. Hand. Right, man. Go ahead. Which they bound, man. Go ahead. Out. They took the young man to the ground. Hey, they took the young men to the grave, man. Go ahead. And the children fell under the wood. And don't you know in slavery, man, they had two and three year old babies with about a t if he can walk. They had him out there with a cotton sack on his back, man. They took the young men to the grave, man. Like you said, they pitied neither young nor old, man. Go ahead, up. But going back into this, that dark cloud that the Lord brought over us for playing, man. You say he, he ain't nobody get away to young, none of us, man. Go ahead, huh? The elders have ceased from the gates. There you go, man. The elders ceased from the gate. Because the elders stood in the gate. You um, know, basically, um, cast judgment, man. Let you know what was wrong from right, man. Go ahead. The young men from their music. Huh. The joy of our heart is ceased. Right, man. So the joy of our heart has ceased. Our dance is turned into mourning. The crown is falling from our head. Right, man. So we fall out. We fell out of our rulership, man. Woe unto us that we have sinned. And that's why, man. Go ahead. For this our heart is faint. For, for these things our eyes are dim. Because of the mountains of Zion, which is desolate, the fox walking upon it. Right, man. And who is the foxes, man? Your pastors, man. Go ahead, I wish we wished, wish the foxes right here. It's the jackals are going to the other nations, man. Read it again. But our, but our prophets have become like them now, man. That's why I said, that's why um, Zechariah 11, 5 said, Whose oppressors slay them, and their shepherds pity them not, man. Go ahead, bro. Because of the mountains of Zion, which is desolate. Right, man. The mountains, our government's desolate, man. Go ahead. The fox walketh upon it. Come. Thou, O oh Lord, <laughs> remainest forever. Hey. Nah, I know what you're thinking. Right, no, you're right, no. <laughs> Go ahead and read that again. Thou, oh Lord, remainest forever. Right. Thou See, this is what we got to realize, man. The Lord remaineth forever, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Thy throne from generation to generation. Come. Wherefore doest thou forget us forever? Right. And forsake us so long time? Come. Turn. Right, cause this been a long time coming right here, man. It's been a long time coming, man. It's been a, but see, that's how that's how that's how the Lord wanted it, man. That's how the Lord that's how the Lord wanted this right here, man. Teach us a long, a well learned, long lesson, man. The kingdom gonna be well deserved, man. It's gonna be well earned too, man. Go ahead. Turn down. Turn not us unto thee, O Lord, and we shall be turned. Renew our days as of old. Right, man. So the Lord gonna renew our days as of old, but this gonna be this is gonna be greater than the beginning, man. Go ahead. But thou hast utterly rejected us. Come, so he, he utterly rejected us, man. This is how we got in the condition we in, man. Go ahead. Thou art very warm against us. Come. That's it. Oh. You guys see a
So the Lord's hand ain't showing that he can't save, man. The Lord haven't forgotten about us, man. We got to live out everything that the Lord devised against us, man. We got to finish it up, man. The affliction of Zion had to be fulfilled, man. Go ahead. Neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. Going back into... We discover the iniquity of our people, man. So that we can be turned back from captivity, man. Go ahead. And your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Come. For your hands are defiled with blood. Right. And your fingers with iniquity. Right, man. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue has muttered, muttered perverseness. Right, man. None call it for justice. None call it for justice, man. Go ahead. Nor any plea for truth. Right. But they trust in vanity. They trust in vanity, man. Go ahead. They, they speak lies. They conceive mischief. Because, because like Isaiah 30 say, our people say, speak, don't, they want us to speak unto them smooth words, man. But you ain't in no smooth condition, man. We ain't in no smooth situation, man. Smooth words ain't gonna bring us out of this, man. Y'all speaking, y'all speaking truth, man. Come straight out the fight. I'm glad to see y'all down here, man. Where you from, bro? Freeport. Freeport. Been to, been to get up out the south and hit Philadelphia. I got some work waiting on me there. Same thing that y'all saying. I tell people that every single day. You know, they try to be Christians. I'm like, you can't be. You know, that's not what your nationality is. That's not who you are. You know, we are. We are the. We are, and there they go. You know. Well, it's, it's good to see y'all down here doing that, doing this work. Man. Appreciate it, bro. I'm gonna stay in here for a while and listen to you because I'm agitated about some stuff. But when I, see, I'm like, yeah, them brothers know. Oh. Bad, this is bad to see other people that do know. Right, we're in the book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 4. None call it for justice. Right, ain't none, ain't, ain't none of your leaders call it for true justice, man. You know, ain't none of them call it for true justice, man. Go ahead. Nor any plea for truth. Right, nor any plea for truth. But how do you, who do you call it for justice for, man? You don't call for justice. You don't go to your oppressors and ask for justice, man. We go to our Heavenly Father, man, and ask for justice, man. Ask him to bring this so-called white man down. Go ahead, huh? They trust in vanity. Right. And your preacher and your different leaders teach you to trust in vanity, man. Go ahead. Like you say, he has seen vain and foolish things for you, man. He haven't sought out your iniquity to turn back your captivity, man. Go ahead. They speak lies. Come. They speak lies, man. Telling you the Lord died for everybody, man. Telling you the Lord is so-called white man in these other nations, man. Telling you the Lord, Lord, love homosexuals and lesbians, man. That's a lie, man. If the Lord come back right now, you a dyke or a faggot, you gonna die, man. You're gonna be put to death, man. What they say, God. Love the son of a hate the sin. That ain't what the Bible says. <laughs> they conceive mischief. See, they conceive mischief. Go ahead. And bring forth iniquity. Come. They hatch crocodile eggs and weed the spiders well. Come. So Eat. what they teaching you is keeping you in this trap, man. Go ahead. He that eateth of their eggs died. Come. So it, go ahead, go ahead. And that which is crushed breaketh out into a viper. The web shall not become garments. Come, go ahead. Neither shall they cover themselves 
with their work. Right, man. So, because how do you cover yourself, man, with this truth, man? You know, coming back to these law, statutes, and the commandments, man. That's what covers you, man. That's the, even going back into when Adam and Eve in the, in the in the garden, man. When they say they realized they were naked, it ain't talking about physical nakedness, man. When they went against what the Lord said, they became naked because they went against His begin against His word, man. They had fell into sin, man. That's what made them naked, man. It wasn't no physical nakedness, man. That's a lie, church, to tell you though, man. Go ahead, up. Their works are works of iniquity. Come. And the acts of violence is in their hands. Come, go ahead. Their feet run to evil. Right, and they teach our people. The, the, they teach our people this, man. Our feet run to evil, man. Just talking about our people, though, man. Because we don't care about what the other nations do, man. The Lord ain't giving them the law, statutes, and commandments, man. He gave them to us. So that's why we in the condition we in, man. That's why he punished us for everything we did, man. This ain't, stop looking at the other nations, man. The Lord dealing with us right now, man. He gonna get them, man. He got wrath reserved for them, man. Go ahead, bro. And they make haste to shed innocent blood. Come on, man. You quick to shed the blood of your own nation, man. But you ain't going to do nothing to these other nations, man. When they commit acts of violence against our people, man. Because the innocent is the Israelites, man. Going back into plain, man. When they say Jacob was a plain man, one of the definitions of plain is innocent, man. Morally perfect, man. You quick to shed the blood of your own brother and sister, man. But, we're, but when we talk about on the so-called white man got to pay for everything he did to us, now you want to forgive him, man. You preaching hate, man. We got to learn love, man. What about learn, learn loving your own brother and sister, man? Go ahead, up. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Come. Wasting and destructions are in their path. Right. The way of peace they know not. Right, man. The way of peace, our people know not, man. Go ahead. And there is no judgment in their goings. Come. Right, man. You don't even understand the judgments of the Lord, man. Go ahead. They have made them crooked path. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. Come. Therefore is judgment far from us. See, therefore is judgment far from us, man. Go ahead. Neither do justice overtake us. Right, man. We wait for light, but behold, obscurity. We wait for light, but behold, obscurity, man. Go ahead. For brightness, but we walk in darkness. Right, man. We wait for, we, you, you looking for, you looking for, um, you looking to come out of a certain situation, man. But you, what you may realize, you reap what you sow, man. If you sow according to the flesh, you're going to receive fleshly um, benefits, man. But if you start doing the right thing, you going you that you gonna receive that light, man. You gonna start to understand, man. Read that again. But it's all about knowing right from wrong, man. It's all about knowing right from wrong, man. Like Isaiah five say, they call evil good and good evil, now, man. And your pastors and your and the people who's supposed to be teaching you right from wrong, they doing the same thing, man. They call them good evil and evil good, man. Go ahead. Isaiah 59, verse 9. Therefore is judgment far from us. See, so therefore judgment is far from us, man. On, on, go ahead. Neither do justice overtake us. Come, because we have to understand something, man. We came to America to live out our sentence, man. You have to understand that, man. It ain't no running from the judgment that the Lord has put on us, man. All we can do is do what we're doing now, man. Turn back to these laws, statutes, and commandments and just wait on the, for the Lord to show our people mercy again, man. And he doing it slowly but shortly, man. Go ahead, up. We wait for light, but behold, obscurity. Come. For brightness, but we walk in darkness. Come. We grope for the walls like the blind. Right, man. Go ahead. And we, we, we walk, we, we, like I said, we grope for the wall like the blind, man. So we walking like blind men out here, man. Go ahead. Because you don't know the truth, man. Go ahead. You don't have understanding. Huh. And we grope as if we have no eyes. 